ग्रेट सेवन मंथ वन वीक वन डे थ्री लेट्स स्टार्ट विद डे थ्री फॉर ग्रेट सेवन लेट्स लॉग ऑन टू आवर ई एल ई अकाउंट लेट्स स्टार्ट विद आवर इंग्लिश लेसन्स डे थ्री एक्टिविटी वॉश द वीडियो अबाउट सिल्क रूट Let's watch this video about Silk Route. In this 3 minute video, we will understand the road that links China and Pakistan. After watching the video, tell how can the current Silk Route help Pakistan? Verbally tell it to anyone or record a video to send it to your tutor. This will be our speaking activity. You will have to tell किस तरह से जो न्यू सिल्क रूट है जो अभी करंट सिल्क रूट है वो पाकिस्तान को किस तरह हेल्प कर सकता है यू हैव टू गिव रीजन एंड डिस्क्राइब योर आंसर आफ्टर दैट वी हैव एन अदर एक्टिविटी आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वन वाई वॉज सिल्क वाई वॉज द सिल्क रूट इम्पॉर्टेंट लिस्ट सम आइटम्स ट्रेडेड ऑन द सिल्क रूट वाई डिड अरब मुस्लिम ट्रेवल टू चाइना वाई डिड पीपल ट्रेड सिल्क through the silk route what made spices an important trade on the silk route compare the old transport of silk route by modern vehicles describe what makes them different okay you have some old transports and then you have some new transports which are used today you have to tell how are they different you can make to a venn venn diagram two bubbles and then you can have differences and similarities or you can just write differences why was this trip trip over the silk route costly you have to give reasons for this as well and then we have an other activity day 3 homework what did you learn about pakistan and the world by studying the silk route Okay after doing the activity now you have to tell what did you learn about Pakistan and the world you have to list some things you read about Pakistan and the world your day 3 for english is complete let's start with day 3 of mathematics last time we dis already discussed supersets subsets proper and improper set Today we are going to discuss disjoint overlapping equal and equivalent sets. Let's start by watching a video. Disjoint overlapping equal and equivalent sets. What are disjoint and overlapping sets? Watch this video and understand. You can pause the video in between for better understanding or rewind it. Let's read the definition and examples of disjoint set. Overlapping set, equal sets, equivalent sets. And at the end we have an activity. Find whether the sets are disjoint or overlapping. Bring out your copies and write the answers of these questions. You have to tell if the sets are disjoint or overlapping. Good job. After reading and doing the activity, your day 3 for mathematics is done. Now let's do day 3 of science. Day 3, digestive system continue. Digestive system continue. We will continue reading about the digestive system. The the, the digestive system is a long roller coaster right for our food. Okay now first of all let's watch a video and see what is a roller coaster Wow amazing and after that let's do some reading and then again watch a video for the digestive system and the digestion After that let's read about small intestine look at the picture large intestine and then an activity answer the following questions 
Define bolus. Why are teeth important for digestion? List some reasons. Name the parts of the small intestine. Explain the organs that help the small intestine in digestion. What are villi? Define large intestine. After writing the answer for these questions, your day 3 for science is done. Now let's do Islamiyat. On our day 3, we will do Islamiyat. Surah, Doha, fill in the blanks. Let's start this exercise. Review Surah Ad-Duha and complete the sentences. Go back to day 1. Review Surah Doha and then complete the sentences. This is the meaning of the Surah which we have to complete. By the morning, write your answer here. And after that, end the test. The results will tell you if the answers are correct. Now let's start with our next activity. Next, we have to read Nazra Quran. I have it open right here. Go to day 2. You can easily download this. Have it in your laptop or tablet so you won't have to open it again and again. Recite Rukus 4, 5 and 6 from Para 13 right here. And then let's go back to Islamiyat. Answer the following questions. How does Allah show his support for the Prophet, peace be upon him, in Surah Doha? How can we remind ourselves to do good deeds? Describe the main theme of Surah Doha. Think, revise the Surah once again to answer all these questions. Explain the lesson you have learned from the Surah. Okay, now what did you learn after reading the surah, its translation? You might have learned some interesting things. Note those down. And now our Islamiyad lesson is complete. Now let's do our geography lesson for day 3. Answer the following questions. Answer the following questions. What is the population? To answer these questions, review day 1 and then start by answering the questions on your copy. What is the population? What did Bilal observe in the village? What is population density? Discuss the factors that affect the density of the population in an area. Okay. And then we have some calculation. We can calculate the density of population using a simple formula. Calculate the density of population. The density of population is, we are going to read the formula now. Total population divided by area of land covered by the population is equal to density of population. Okay, through this formula, we can calculate the density of of population of Pakistan and it is the number of persons divided by the kilometers is equal to 281 persons per square kilometer that's great new information for us calculate the density of the population of any 10 countries from the following map search the internet for the total population and land area okay here we have the world map Select any one of the countries. We can select Russia. Search its area and population. And then total population divided by the area of land covered by the population. And you will get your density of population. Good job! After answering the questions and calculating the density, your geography work is complete. 
for more lessons contact on this number thank you your day 3 is complete